so this true story of these 33 Chilean miners buried alive um, really shocked and captivated the world. Do you remember what you were feeling at the time? I was shooting a movie. <laughs> so it's, you know, when one is shooting a movie, it's, I'm in the mind myself. No, I, I, did, um, I didn't follow it closely. I knew it was happening, but all my family did, all my friends did. And so um, when I got the script the first time, you know, I just, I remembered and I started, you know, doing all the research and diving completely into, into all the information that is out there, which is tons and tons. Pésima, pésima respuesta. Es que yo no lo vi. Tell me, what appealed to you about this opportunity? <laughs> Can you ask me again? What was it about this opportunity that excited you, that appealed to mm -hmm. you, of directing this movie? You know, many things. The first thing is, you know, I realized, I wanted to understand why a billion people were so moved by the real, you know, why the event when it happened, you know, because this is the story that has captured more TV audience in the world. I think after the World Cup, um, the rescue of the 33 miners is the biggest event in TV history. And there's many accidents around the world, unfortunately, but they don't captivate the world like this one did. For me, it was about understanding and exploring what is it about it. I think through through making the movie, through meeting the 33 miners and learning their their deep personal you know, stories, I was able to understand a little bit of why this story touched the world. So this is not just a story of what happens underground. It's also a story of what happens above ground. Mm -hmm. And you did very well in balancing. It was important for you to tell those two stories, really, right? Well, in fact, it's three stories because, you know, there's the, the miners inside, trapped. There's the families above ground that are fighting for their, for their men that are trapped. And there's the rescuers, which is the whole technical side of, of this event. And for me, it was very important to give a place in the movie, in the story, to each of these three worlds, because the three of them made this happen. Um, the families, you know, from the beginning, I thought were absolutely important because I find them responsible for the fact that the government saved the miners. You know, the families were there. They were the ones that never lost faith, never stopped believing that they were alive, and pushed everyone. You know, they brought the news media um, to cover the events. They were, you know, yelling and fighting at the government. They were so active in forcing everyone to see and to help that I, I find them heroic also. So I wanted to, to give them a good space in the movie. And can you talk about this amazing international cast mm -hmm. that you assembled for the movie? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it started all with Antonio Banderas, and you know, he's an international cast. He's from Spain, and um, and you know, when I when I I casted him as the leader of of the miners, I thought, why don't we surround him with the best of the best from all the Spanish-speaking countries of, of of the world? So that's how you know we came up with you know. The, the best Latin American actors. Um, and then, you know, I thought of Juliette Pinoche. I, had a, I have a character who is, I think, you know, one of the most important pieces in this story, which is Maria Segovia. She's the sister of one of the miners. And I, I make her responsible for, 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 you know, really convincing the government to be there. She's strong, she's forceful, she's loud. And uh, she has a big heart, and I just thought Juliet would be, would be an amazing addition um, to interpret. Patricia, and you shot a location in Chile mm -hmm. and in real mines in Colombia. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that experience? Yes. Well, originally we were thinking of shooting in a stage, but I realized early on that if we were to build uh, our mine in a stage, we would have, you know, a couple hundred feet of mine. Now, if we went to a real mine, we would have miles and miles of mine. So let's so we got brave and we said let's do it. Let's just go into a mine. And so we got two amazing mines in Colombia and that permitted us to do for instance the collapse sequence which is a chase sequence with vehicles, you know, chasing each other and rocks falling and we could drive for miles and miles. We had um, endless sets inside this place. Um, 
that of course, you know, had its consequences, you know. We, you know, the whole cast and the crew were, were we were brave because we walked into a mine for 35 days, 14-hour um, days, six days a week, hard hats, boots, bad air, rocks that were always, you know, close to falling on our heads and no bathrooms, no nothing, no food down there. It was very tough. The good thing, you know, uh, after enduring all this, this t you know, tough, 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 tough shoot was that I think it really informed the cast and it made, ma made them, all of us, understand a little bit what being a minor is and what these men would have, you know, must have felt um, in their lives as a minors and also travelers through that time. So it was good.